Hey there, this is hopefully gonna be a really short video because it's like a thousand degrees in my room and I don't have air conditioner. I'm trying to save the planet, yo, by sweating all over it. So ever since Thunderfoot favorited and shared the mirror of my old video on feminism, which I will link below, people have been asking me why the hell did I remove it? Did PZ Myers force me to do it? Was I afraid of not conforming with the views expressed on free talk blogs and skeptic? Um, uh, no. I removed that video for one reason and one reason only, and it's not what you wanna hear. I took it down because it was not supported by facts. The statistics I provided there, you will not find those peer-reviewed anywhere. That even rhymed. In fact, I challenge you to find any credible source that confirms the data in that video. And by credible source, I mean some actual peer-reviewed studies, not just somebody writing their opinion on a blog. Okay, I guess I have to explain what happened. I made that video some three years ago after reading The Myth of Male Power by Warren Farrell. Also some other online articles and blog posts which for me at that point hit close to home because they confirmed what I myself have experienced. As a side note, personal experience is one of the worst possible criteria to form conclusions about pretty much everything. See theism. So reading all that got me all worked up, I got carried away and I made a video without actually doing proper research. And after I posted that video, two things happened. First thing that happened was that it was very well received and supported by the majority of people who viewed it which in my mind confirmed that what I was saying was true. Another side note, popular opinion is yet another horrible criteria to form conclusions. Again, think about theism. The second thing that happened was that a lot of the people who opposed my video and who self-identified as feminists, most of them radical feminists, began a tirade of personal attacks. They were ragging on the way I look, they were ragging on the way I dress, they were claiming that I'm not a real feminist because in the video you could see my legs. And that made me even more reactionary because I felt I was under attack and I was thinking, hold on, these people who call themselves radical feminists, what they're saying is basically men have no right to tell women how to look and what to wear and how to act and what to say. Only we have the right to tell women that. And if they don't comply, they're not real feminists. Mm -hmm. Now one thing I have to stress is that these people are a minority among feminists. Most of them do identify as radicals, but I cannot even go as far as saying all radical feminists are like that, because I did receive messages from people saying, look, I am a radical feminist and I don't stand for what they stand for. Which is this general anti-male attitude. All men are assholes, all men are dangerous. Actually they have a pretty much anti-everything attitude. They are anti-pornography anti-prostitution, some of them are even anti-sexual intercourse because they consider it to be harmful to women. I will link some stuff below if you don't believe it. They also slut shame other women, they don't accept men at feminist gatherings and some of them are really transphobic. And these people, even if they are a minority among feminists, who knows, maybe even a minority among radical feminists, but they are so active and so loud that sometimes they are the only ones you hear and people start assuming that they are representative for what feminism is about. They're not. So after I posted that video and received the responses, I was so outraged that I basically automatically dismissed all the other people who were indeed making valid criticism. And it took me a long time to even consider that criticism and revise my video and realize that I have indeed provided false information. That is the only reason I removed my video. Nobody made me do it. Nobody even hinted at it. Not PZ Myers, not Rebecca Watson, not anybody. It was a misleading video and I made a mistake by letting myself get carried away and not doing proper research. And I apologize to all of you for that. Now one thing I find funny is that one of the mirrors of my video that recently got uploaded on YouTube says in the title something like Christina Red or Oh My God is Chris before she was a feminist. Which is quite fascinating considering that in the beginning of that very video I say that I am a feminist. I've always been a feminist. Even if after the responses I got to that video I was so appalled that I stopped identifying as one for a while. I was like, you can keep that label, I don't want it anymore, I have nothing in common with you. But that didn't last long because I very soon realized that by doing that I'm basically enabling this small group of people to completely hijack the term and turn it into a perversion of what feminism is about and its historical significance. If I absolutely have to ascribe a category to my feminism, I would say that I am a sex positive feminist. And I cannot make this video any longer, I am about to melt. But I will link you to my blog where I will further elaborate on the video I removed, the things I still stand by, the things I have reconsidered or maybe seen in a different light. So please go there, read it, I will link it below. Now in my next video I will be talking about the Don't Feed the Trolls panel which I was part of and I recently uploaded and also the 
gender differences panel because those generated a lot of controversy and I want to address it. I also want to talk about sexual harassment policies at skeptic conferences because that's also a big debate going on right now. So I'll see you in a few days. <laughs>